Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ishma from Conjured Realm. In today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about being chosen and how every single moment of your life, you're always being chosen. Everything is happening to you because of the way we are thinking. It's actually sad how some people think that because a person or an opportunity doesn't pick them that immediately they're not worth those things anymore. In reality, the reason why those things turned you down or didn't happen the way you wanted is because you didn't believe you were chosen. You didn't think you were worthy of those opportunities, of that person, of that money, of that job, promotion, or whatever it may be. But you've always been chosen. You just neglect the part of you that can allow yourself to be chosen in turn reflects that same image out into your 3D. I know a lot of people don't want to hear about self-concept and changing the way you view yourself to get the things that you want. Trust me, I know I was there because every time someone gave me that advice, I would roll my eyes, I would immediately not want to listen to what they had to say. But when these coaches are telling you that all you have to do is look inward and stop paying attention to the 3D to become chosen by an SP, to be a match for that amount of money that you're trying to manifest, we're not saying this for our health. We're saying this because this is what it takes to manifest. You can't lose if internally you're already chosen. These opportunities will not pass you by if inside you know you've already been picked. So allow the 3D to show you the illusions, but don't fall for the trap because they're not real. Every time I feel like something is not moving fast enough or something is not happening for me, immediately when I turn inward, and I visualize the scene that I want to happen or the thing that I want to experience or the thing I'm trying to manifest or bring into my life, I just go inside, I go within, I go into the 4D and I visualize and see myself with those things now. And immediately that feeling of urgency just almost like melts away and it no longer becomes an issue for me. But there must be a reason why so many coaches are telling you to look inward to be a match for the things that you want, especially when you're hearing it from multiple sources. Right? There has to be some validity in what we're saying for that information to be coming across every person that is giving you advice on this topic. And like I said, being chosen doesn't only have to be an SP situation. You could be chosen for other things like a job opportunity or a music career happening for you or you know whatever it may be. That decision of being chosen has to start within. You need to see yourself as the person being chosen. You cannot be neglected if you've already been picked, right? This all starts from within. You pay attention too much to the outside. It becomes a never ending loop the more you react so heavily to the 3D, especially when it's not a favorable circumstance. You look out into the 3D, you react, you internalize, and you gain belief that it's not working for you. The only way to escape this loop is to look inward, to change the inside so that it then can be reflected outside. Your SP is waiting for you to pick them internally. That money is waiting for you to pick it up internally. That car is waiting for you to pick it up internally. But none of those things can happen because you keep focusing on what's not here. It's like you're in a dark room and you have a flashlight. Whatever you put your focus on, the flashlight will illuminate and bring to you. If the flashlight notices that your focus is on not receiving, then now it illuminates the aspect or situation of you not receiving something. That's all our focus is doing and our reticular activating system is helping it. So start within and for a while, maybe for a few days, a couple weeks, stop looking outward. Feel okay inside first so the 3D can show you the things that you want. This is very simple. It's just a lot of times we tend to overcomplicate it for no reason. We, we want so much validation from other coaches. Is this person saying the same thing? Is that person teaching the same thing? It's the same information all across the board. I'm not gaining anything by telling you guys information that's going to make me seem bad or not a good coach, right? Obviously, I want you guys to start practicing and using everything that I tell you so you can start getting results for yourself. And you should be doing that with not just me, but with every coach or anything you read online in general. But 
Um, I just wanted to remind you guys that everything starts within. You're already chosen. You already have the things that you want. You just have to pay more attention inside than you do outside. And it'll all start to flow to you. Um, but anyways, if you guys are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, please contact me at conjuredrealm at gmail.com. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon so you're notified every time I post a new video. Alright guys, happy manifesting.